What's up guys, Just Prince TV here. Want to talk to you about none other than Kendrick Lamar. Now, it's very clear that this guy is viewed as one of the greatest artists of our generation, right? That's what he's viewed as. And his last album was 2017, all right? It's a long time from now. We're already in 2021. And yet, all we got from Kendrick was a verse that he had on a song from his cousin, all right? And he has a long hiatus. And people are starting to wonder, when will this album ever drop, okay? Um, he's been keeping people waiting longer than Dr. Dre when it comes to making the album. And it got to a point where I think Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar low-key retired from rap music, you know? I think he kind of lost a little passion to make rap music, if you ask me. And with that being said, I think he's probably just trying to get back into the groove. But from what I heard, he has enough songs, unreleased songs, to make an album. All right? So if that's the case, that means a lot of those unreleased songs are from the damn era, which was 2017. Now, if that's the case, I would say release those songs because you haven't had an album in a long time. Release that and make it as like how Nas did with something like The Lost Tapes. Do something like that. Because how long are people gonna keep saying Kendrick Lamar is the best rapper of this generation if you don't release nothing? Activity counts for a lot of things. And you gotta be out there making material for people to say you're the best, right? That time frame of albums that he got was Great albums, right? Damn was a classic. Good Kid, Mad City, classic. You know, um, How to Pimp a Butterfly came out in like 2015. I didn't like that one too much, but a lot of other people did. He actually won a Grammy for that. Um, to me, I think that was one of his worst projects. But people liked it for some reason. But my thing is, Kendrick Gamar says he likes to take his time with albums. He likes to be creativity with it, you know? Well, at some point, you can't get too creative because you're going to stray away from hip-hop. Don't get too weird, okay? You could try out some new things, but still keep it in the same vein. That's what makes an artist great, is when you buy their album, they stay in the same lane that you, that you want. Because when you buy an artist's album, you're buying that album based off past work that they did because you believe in them to make another good album. That's the main thing. You buy a Nas, Nas album, you know what you're going to get from it based off past work. But that's what you want, to experience a little bit of the same. Okay, you don't want to experience uh, Kendrick Lamar out there singing R&B songs you know, when you're a rapper. We want to see the Kendrick Lamar that we growed up on. All right? For some of you people that are a fan of Kendrick Lamar. But, yeah, man, how long are we going to keep saying this guy is the best rapper of this generation if he don't? continue to make music. So my question is to you, man, is he still the best rapper of this generation to you? Or did you think a guy like Drake or Kanye West um, surpassed him, you know? Leave your message in the comment section, man. Just Prince TV out. Peace.